Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here now that my two informative videos are done for the day. It's time to talk about current events in the online fitness community. And Johnny Bravo has released a video uh, talking with Richard Rodriguez from prison. And he had some interesting stuff to say. So let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing. Work on skill at my crafting a little bit and let's talk about this. And a lot of people keep asking, Jason, what are you doing? Are you making bullets? No, I'm resizing bullets. Brass, it's a nine millimeter cartridges. I'm resizing them, guys. In fact, I have a whole firearm channel. I have actual tutorials on how to do this on my other channel. I don't run just one YouTube channel. <laughs> but I digress. Apparently, Richard, who has you know released quite a few YouTubers who were clients of WFN and the whole Iron Addicts Miami bust, has named some celebrities, both minor and major celebrities, including Fergie's ex husband. Um, I guess a WWE wrestler named Roman Reigns. I'm not familiar with who that is. But apparently he's a big deal. But the most interesting one that he alleged, and we're going to say alleged, guys, because we can't prove this. Um, I don't know if he's telling the truth or not. He might be. I might be willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. But th these is alleged. This is allegations at this point. Uh, so I'm not going to go out and say, oh, man, these guys definitely because we don't know that. But that's what's being alleged by someone who's sitting there in jail who's been talking about who his customers are, who has released documents. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, why would Mark Wahlberg, because that's who he named, why would Mark Wahlberg, also used to be known as Marky Mark back when I was a kid, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, but everyone accused him of using steroids back then, didn't they? Uh, a lot of people be like, well, why him? Well, he, uh, had a lot of well-known bodybuilding clients. I mean, he knew a lot of guys, not just some big YouTubers. Uh, Rashid's a pretty big YouTuber. Cali Muscle's a pretty big YouTuber. These guys are fairly connected. But he knew a bunch of pro bodybuilders who he had business interactions with. He actually did have some celebrity clientele uh, at the gym and other places. And he was based out of Miami, guys. I mean, Miami's kind of a big deal in certain circles. So he's based out of Miami had a lot of high-end clientele, including some pro bodybuilders, it's within the realm of possibility. Now, a lot of people would say, well, why wouldn't he have gone to The Rock? He did that No Pain, No Gain movie with The Rock and everything else. Well, because maybe The Rock doesn't share his sources. We don't know what the dynamics are between these different people. We don't know what the off-scenes dynamic are. We don't know if they share stuff like that. And here's the thing, guys. You guys ever met any guy who uses a lot of gear? who only has one source ever for five years straight? Of course not. I have half a dozen different sources over the course of a period of time, sometimes more. Not uncommon. And, I mean, if we use that same logic, then why did Lobliner, why did Lobliner go to him? Because, I mean, that's more or less been admitted. Um, Mark more or less admitted that he had. Of course, he endorsed the company, endorsed it as a legal company. So... It's not unreasonable to think they had contracts. He almost, he borderline admitted, you could take it that way as an admission, uh, that he did receive some product from them. They had a contract with uh, his name on it, agreeing for him to advertise for free product and money. And people say, was it really that much money? How do they pay all these guys? Well. He said, I think at one point, he was doing $30,000 in sales a day. You know, when you're doing $30,000 in sales a day, you can dish out 20, 30 grand uh, for advertising a month. Uh, not unbelievable. Not unbelievable at all. It's a very, very tiny amount of their margins. And when you consider the cost to manufacture, this stuff is a lot lower than a lot of you think it is. Uh, it, literally for a lab to make a bottle of testosterone is less than $10. People out there paying eighty dollars, hundred dollars out there for that. I mean, it's all that costs these people to make it. So, and even then, you got Lobliner did that, and people would say, "Why Lobliner's connected?" Lobliner's got Steve Shaw on his payroll. Now, rumor has it, just rumor, that Steve's got some decent cooking skills. As the song goes, he's got the sauce. No ketchup, just sauce, raw sauce. That's what Big Shaq said. 
So, you know, he has somebody who knows how to cook right there on his payroll. You could argue, why would he go to an underground lab at all? Well, other than free, just an easy work, maybe. Maybe he didn't want to pay someone like Steve to make him stuff, right? So, yeah, he got a bunch of stuff for free. And then they had other stuff also besides underground lab. They had HGH and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, we've all seen the price looks. We've all seen what they had. But remember, this all busted when the site was still up and running. I went and checked it all out to see what was on there. Uh, as soon as the bus stuff came out, because they didn't shut the site down immediately. They stayed in business for a little while, or at least the DEA let them keep that site up. And they could keep tabs on who was buying stuff. And, you know, he shipped him a bunch of HGH. So it's not out of the question. Uh, that it's not outside of the realm of possibility that this is real. It doesn't mean that it is. But given the backstory, given the connections he had, given his story on it, um, I'm somewhat inclined to believe him. I'm somewhat inclined to believe him. You know, and yeah, clearly they probably had a lot of well-known names involved. Obviously, we have all these YouTubers involved, you know, having a few actors and minor celebrities involved. Uh, doesn't sound far-fetched considering the size of the operation. It was it had sold millions of dollars worth of stuff under the guise of being legal. And when you've got the guise of being illegal, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of actors and celebrities who might jump into that. I mean, a lot of actors do the whole TRT clinic thing, longevity clinic thing. Uh, I mean, I know where I live here in Houston, there are doctors who will prescribe people more than the normal recommended amounts. There are doctors who specialize in this who absolutely uh, prescribe stacks to people. Absolutely are. And that makes it illegal when they do that. Now, arguably, the, the ethics... The medical ethics might become questionable from a medical perspective, but from a legal perspective, <laughs> the customer's not breaking any laws. They have a prescription that they obtained from a physician who has the legal ability to write that prescription. They're not breaking any laws to possess it. They have a prescription. They break a law if they give it to someone else. But yeah, I mean, using and possessing something that you have a current valid prescription for is legal. That's that's. The whole purpose of a prescription is to give, take controlled substances from a doctor and give it to people. So, you know what? I don't think it's out of the question and that could have been the case because given the story, yeah, he very well could have met Mark Wahlberg. There very well could have been some interaction. So it's a plausible story. And I think that's interesting. It shows how far this whole situation went. It shows how far it went because there were a bunch of pro bodybuilders involved. Uh, we have, we know of at least three big YouTubers involved. Cali Muscle, Lobliner, Rashid. Uh, now he's naming actors. And again, when someone has that big of an operation, it's of no surprise. It's of no surprise if that happens. You'd be surprised who buys from who. And it's not like actors don't use all sorts of stuff. Sorry, but Hollywood's not exactly known for its sobriety <laughs> in general. And particularly when it comes to obtaining substances that could improve the way that they look for a film role. Considering how much these people party and drink and do recreational drugs, I don't think it's a drop in the bucket. I don't think it's far-fetched to say that a whole lot of them use substances to enhance their physiques and to enhance their bodies. I mean, look at the plastic surgery there. That's a lot more expensive, a lot more invasive. Um, so, you know, I'm not shocked at all. Not shocked at all. And again, everyone knew and oh, everyone said that uh, Marky Mark for that last movie role with uh, The Rock, that bodybuilding movie that he clearly went back on some stuff if he hadn't been for years anyways. And I guess Richard alleged that, yeah, he, he had used a lot of stuff for a lot of years. But interesting stuff. And I think that's the thing. You know, this WFN thing's not going to die out. It's not going to die out. And that's the other thing. You know, people like to keep up with stuff and hold things against people for years and years and years. I've noticed that on the internet, even really small things. 
So yeah, I don't think people are going to let Lobliner and Rashid go for this either, and particularly now that it's going to blow up, um, because he's talking about very, very famous celebrities at this point when you start bringing Mark Wahlberg again. So this could continue to grow and continue to have outreach, and I think this stuff is going to be connected to some of these guys for a very, very long time. So they really want it to go away. They want to brush it under the rug, but they're not going to be able to because this is a big deal when these guys were promoting it as legal, knowing that it wasn't. And it's gone as far as having someone like Mark Wahlberg's name attached to it. All right, that makes it an even bigger deal. So uh, I guess we'll just keep watching and see what happens. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I will talk to you guys next time.